remember when I was at public school, whenever a teacher would say, all right, you have a video project due at the final at the end of your essay, a lot of kids would be worried because they didn't have software that could do anything like that at home. And so the kids who had software for video editing would get this just phenomenal advantage, and now everyone has that here at Kirby. The only place that's comparable in Santa Cruz County proper is the Cabrillo Audio Lab, and you have to be a music student at Cabrillo. So on the high school level, this is it. And we really have the state-of-the-art equipment here. We have Pro Tools, which is what everybody up there uses, and we have really phenomenal hardware, as well as a pretty good space to record things in with, with you know, baffles and such. You can get a really professional sound out of that studio. Mr. Rhodes comes from a physics background, and there's, there's sort of that whole element to it. So it's, it's, you've got, you know, you're, you're studying a room acoustics, you're studying really the, the physics of sound first. That's what everyone starts with, and they have, it gives you a book that, that sort of explains that. Of course, it's all going to be applied to music, that's the idea, so it is, it's not just a physics class. The capability is there for, for working extensively with both video and sound and mixing them because you have iMovie, which focuses on video and comes with all, of course, the Macs there, and you have Pro Tools, so you can really, it's, 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 they're both there. I actually used the final music project I, I had in fall 2009, beginning audio engineering, to audition for Berkeley College of Music's Summer in L.A. Uh, seminar that next summer, and it got me in. Currently, I'm, I'm working, the independent study, of course, is also functioning as a class format to sort of learn about and help record my EP. It looks really impressive on college resumes that you can say that you've worked in it, especially if you if you mixed your uh, one of your pre-screen or audition pieces there. You say, look, I took a class on this here at my school, and then I did this. Not only did I write this song as my audition, I also made it. I mixed it. Um, it wasn't done at a studio with other people. This is all me.